Overseas now, the war in Gaza has turned from airstrikes and street battles to a high-profile courtroom drama today. Trey Yanks has more from Tel Aviv. Bring them home! Protesters on both sides of the Gaza conflict were out in force on Thursday. Be free, as the International Court of Justice considered genocide charges against Israel. It's a high-stakes legal showdown that could determine the future of international support for the Israeli government as it continues its offensive against Hamas. <laughs> Prosecutors from South Africa, which brought the case, claim the evidence against Israel is clear. Israel has a genocidal intent against the Palestinians in Gaza. That is evident from the way in which Israel's military attack is being conducted. It is systematic in its character and form. Just hours before the start of the hearing, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a video statement aimed at softening that criticism, claiming Israel has no intention of occupying Gaza or displacing civilians. Our goal is to rid Gaza of Hamas terrorists and free our hostages. Once this is achieved, Gaza can be demilitarized and de-radicalized. But that statement puts Netanyahu at odds with several of his cabinet ministers who have called for a permanent Israeli military presence in Gaza. Now the court has to decide whether to grant South Africa's request and order Israel to stop its military operation while the hearing is conducted. What South Africa is arguing is that if the interim measures are not taken, um, there would be irreparable harm that would be caused on the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. The hearing is expected to last for two days. Israel's legal team gives its rebuttal on Friday. In Tel Aviv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.